Okay, so in this video I'll be talking about sprite setup. So first off, you'll be needing a 2D texture which you can import onto scene as a sprite. So for example, I'll be using this character I prepared earlier. Note, if you are also going to be using a character, it's a good idea to segment each limb, making rigging and animating easier later on. Now, for those who are using Uni2D, you'll notice that once you've imported the Uni2D package, you'll get a new window like so. First, you'll need to open up the Sprite Editor, which will prompt you with these three options. First, there's Create Sprite, which is just putting your textures on the scene as a sprite. The second option does the same as the first, so it also gives you default physics settings as and as well as a collision mesh for your sprites. The third option is for those who are uploading a sequence of images. Now, if you highlight all your images and click Create Animation Clip, it will upload it as an animation transitioning between each frame. And with this option, you won't be needing to do any rigging or animating through Unity. However, for my sprites, I'll be need, I'll just need to click Create Sprite, and it'll appear in scene like this. Now, when it appears in, sp in scene, it will actually put it all at the same Z depth. However, when working with 2D, it's good to apply a bit of depth to each piece, making rigging and animating easier later on. However, for background objects, like these mountains, having Z depth will usually not translate into game view. However, with the new vertex color tool, you can adjust the tint of your sprites and give the illusion of depth. Another cool feature is the use atlas tool in which you can create an atlas which will get all your textures and put it on the one sheet and reduce your draw calls by a significant amount. Alright, so that's it for scene setup. Stay tuned for the next video.